Ajay. Welcome to Pivot TV. In this video, we'll be talking about Kolawole Ajayemi's new car, his gift to himself, the reaction of Nigerians, his wife to Abraham's reaction, and also Kolawole Ajayemi's warning to Nigerians following all of the bruhaha that are surrounded in his vehicle he bought himself. Let's get to the beginning of this matter, right? Let's circle back, guys. So, a few days ago was Kolawole Ajayemi's birthday. He's in his 40s now and he's been married to popular Nigerian actress, filmmaker, producer, entrepreneur, Tony Abrahams. And they've been married for a while now. So, his birthday happened and Tony Abrahams, you know, she actually pampers a man a lot, posting on social media and it was no exception that it was his birthday. She gifted him um, Timmy Dakolo, not like she gave him Timmy Dakolo, but Timmy Dakolo came to serenade him. You know, she got a traditional chanter to, you know, chant and just make his head swell. And if you actually watch that video, I told you that I'm actually looking forward to more things that Tony Abrahams would do for her husband. So, Kola Wale Ajayemi will learn that he bought himself a car to celebrate his birthday. Typical Nigerians, of course, we were in the comment section, a lot of congratulations. But something that was quite, you know, overwhelming or something that you would notice more in the comments is the fact that a lot of people seem to believe that Tony Abrahams actually bought that car for Kalawale Ajayemi. But because she does not want it to look like she's the one sponsoring her man, she says Kalawale Ajayemi should say he bought the vehicle. Remember that this is not the first time a vehicle matter will happen in their JME household. There was a time that Kolawole and JME visited Tony Abraham's mom and presented a car to these women. A lot of Nigerians also then were of the opinion that Tony Abraham's actually bought that car, but she made her husband present it to her, to her own mother so it would seem like Kolawole and JME is making more money because a lot of people have the opinion that financially, so Abrahams is doing a lot better than Kola Wale Ajayemi and that anything that Kola Wale Ajayemi has to boast of now is courtesy of Tony Abrahams. Then Tony Abrahams always, always comes to the aid of her husband and says that that is not the case and this one is no exception. This time she actually took time out to speak to us via a verified instagram page to abraham says that although she usually does not do this but she actually needs to attend to this particular case because it's becoming too you know reoccurrent and she hopes that this is going to stop here she says it's 2022 and the mentality that the most the more the, the, the most famous person in the relationship in, in an household whatever it might be is the person that is actually doing the most the, the most financially you get what i'm trying to say it's actually a very ill mentality that we need to stop and she says that we're continuing to say that her husband is feeding off her is just ridiculing this man's hard work and everything he has worked for with his own sweat and money because this man actually does a lot for her and their children. Kola Wale Ajayemi has a child from a pre previous relationship, 16 year old Temi Tokbe Ajayemi, while himself and Tony Abrahams have a son together, Ure Ajayemi, that was welcomed in August of 2019. Let me tell you what Tony Abraham said. Tony Abraham says, I don't usually do this, and I'm only going to address this just once, and I hope this ends here. She went ahead to say, People need to stop this mentality that famous people or the more famous ones are the richest in their family, relationship, or even friendships. Guys, let me pause here. Bear in mind that there is a response from Kola Wale and JME, and I want you guys to hear that response because this man has promised to show us pepper. But let me continue with to abraham's defense of her husband she says just because some people do not like to blow their own horns doesn't mean they should be seen as less or incapable she says i'm speaking up because i won't let people talk down on my husband who is a very hard working man and is doing a lot for me and the kids do not ridicule his hard work and what he stands for everything he has is worked for with his own sweat and he deserves it i am the last born of my family and you'd think i'm the richest just because i'm famous which is far from the truth 
it is 2022 please we need to do better and stop this ill-mannered mentality celebrate people without trying to pitch them against um, another person or ridicule their hard work or give credit to another it is old and needs to be stopped this is Tony abraham's message to nigerians and the internet people reacting to her husband gifting himself a vehicle now what did kola waliaji emi now say because still under this particular post people still said to abraham should better dead them you know oh, i just don't you know don't talk too much we don't need you to say nothing just keep quiet if indeed you're not feeling this man you do not need to respond just let the internet people say what they want to say who typically does not say nothing when situations like this happen i mean all the times that he's been in the news because of his wife and his wife's status in the society this man has not said anything even when he, they were accused of not giving birth to Ire, you know it was said that Ire was given birth to in one shack in lagos nigeria while Tony Abraham told us to believe that she gave birth to Ire in the United States. Kalawala Diyemi didn't say nothing in the situation. Tony Abraham was the one that actually came out to actually explain herself and all of those things. But then Kalawala Diyemi responded in this particular case, which is what is even more exciting for me because for you guys to push this man to actually talk, man. <laughs> You don't did it, guys. You guys don't did it. Now Kalawala Diyemi says hmm, this year bad and fake people will die on top of my matter because you know never see anything yet he used the goat emoji as panahim the goat he says my god is at work 100 percent in other words permit me to inform you that this year you are going to be prepared courtesy of Kalawale and jamie it's safe to say that this man has decided that not to you know try and be humble because like his wife said some people just don't treat their own horns but now Kalawale and jamie is saying he's going to toot his horns and you're going to hear it from wherever you are so like for the people at the back this man has gotten a mic now and is ready to talk and is ready to show us that indeed he's making his own money and is feeding his family he's doing very well for himself but i would love to hear from you in the comment section do you think tony abrahams is doing a little bit too much because i'm part of the opinion that she's doing a little bit too much and trying so hard to not just convince the internet now more like she's trying to tell something to herself you know and she's projecting it on the in on the internet he gets that's what some people have seen are you of the school of thought or do you think nigerians are actually the ones doing too much because it's not your business what is going on in somebody's household regardless of how famous or how much you think you are entitled to know their personal life story do you think we are the ones doing too much i actually want to hear from you concerning that and do you think that kolawala jm actually needs to respond maybe should have just kept that mystery part of himself and not responding to whatever goes on in the internet should they have just kept it at that i would love to hear from you if you enjoyed this video please share it to your family friends tell your foes tell your enemies let them know what is going on now tell them about pivot tv i will appreciate that give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it and i will see you in the next one bye guys